Hey everybody, Don here again. Well, it's another beautiful fall day, and I know for a lot of you guys, uh, hunting season's already open. And bow season is open here in New Hampshire, but I'm just not able to uh, bow hunt this year. But I am going to be using my crossbow when the rifle season opens up, and I'll be hunting from the, uh, from the blind. So today, I got a 3D target right here. I'm going to go out here. I have my rangefinder in my pocket, and I'm going to go out, and I'm going to mark some distances, 20, 40, and 60 yards. And then I'm going to take the 3D target and set it up, and uh, we'll take a few practice shots from the, uh, from the shooting house. Hang out. All right, well, I don't remember exactly, but I think from where I had my ground blind set up last year to this uh, rubbing tree, I think it was about 20... 25 yards. I'm going to stand even with the rubbin tree. Twenty-four yards to the window of the shooting house from right here. I'm going to set up the deer target here. That's about the size of a small doe. Now I'm just gonna go out and I'm gonna mark 40 and uh, 60. So right about here would be about 40 yards. I'll just make a mark with some spray paint. And that's going to be my 40 yard. And now, like I said, I thought that scrape under there was just about 60, 65 yards. See how close I was. So there's the scrape right there. And I thought this was about 65 yards. I thought this was about 65 yards from the shooting house, so. See how close we were. Whoop. 62 yards. So that's perfect. You know, I've got that, I've got pins on my crossbow go 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So right here, 62 yards. I'd really ideally like them to come in down to this low spot right here. So I'm going to put a mark right there. crossbow hanging up there, my uh, cocking tool. All right, so I shoot Rage expandable crossbow broadheads. These are just uh, some target broadheads, not sharp, but same exact weight. So let's uh, let's cock the crossbow. I gotta tell you, I um, I have not shot this crossbow since I uh, since I left CJ's. Okay. Well cocked. Nice thing I like about my Parker crossbow is that it has an anti dry fire device. So it's on safe. Get 
my bolt loaded up. And I've got a camera on the uh, on the cross, or no, I've got a camera set up on the deer target. And so, like I said, my top sight pin is 20 yards. The one below it is 30, and that deer target is at 25. So I'm going to split the difference. And let's see what happens. Well, I jerked it a little bit, but I got lung. So I think that would be a, uh, a dead deer. But you know what? We're gonna, uh, we're gonna try that again because I really wasn't happy with that shot. The elevation was okay, but I didn't like that I pulled it off to the, to the right a little bit. This, uh, this is the uh, Parker Tornado. It's a 175 pound draw weight. And it's supposed to shoot about, I think 350 feet per second. And we ran it through a chronograph when it was new and it was uh it was right on all right let's uh let's be a little ready to fire Much better. Now I'm right in the center of the lung section there. Let's see how close I can come to that last, that last bolt. that far from the second bolt. That's a good group. We don't, we're not gonna count the first shot. And both of them are right in the middle of the lungs, just where I wanna put them. So this was that first shot. That first shot, I knew I jerked it, hadn't shot it in a while. These second two put it right dead center, right in the middle of the lungs. yards. I have a 40 yard pin. Aim small, miss small. Right in the heart. So it was a little left of my last two shots, but we'll see if we can uh, duplicate that. 
I'm feeling quite good about how this thing is shooting. What movie is that from? Aim small, miss small. Who can tell me? I know somebody out there knows it. That far apart, right in the kill zone. Probably in the, uh, the lower third of the lung. We might as well shoot one more. See if I can put this one right in between those. All three of those are within that close to each other. All three of those are a dead deer. And I'm pretty happy. We'll see how it looks at 60. I'm a little skeptical. All right. Three more shots. All right. Whew. I'm out of shape climbing up and down that ladder. I guess I haven't done anything at all in 70 some days, so it's no wonder. All right. 60 yards. Whew. That is a haul. But I'm going to put my 60 yard pin on the very top of the lung section. See what happens. I think I was a little high. So this next one, I still think I'm in the lung but I think I'm a little high. All right. Let's try this one right on the center. No, bad shot. That one was like back. Like that would have been, that would have been a gut shot deer. I think 60 yards might be too far. Even though this bow is capable, I don't know that I'm capable. Well, that third shot right over the back, here's where it impacted. But I cannot find it. And whether it deflected off of off of the ground and went sailing. I don't know. Well, what did we learn today? Well, we learned I can get up in the in the shooting blind with this boot on. Uh, we learned at 20 and 40, I'm right on. 60 is a little bit too long. I probably wouldn't take that shot. And I'm afraid I'm gonna see most of the deer action if I do in this back area. But I hope with a fresh licking branch and I'm gonna make a scrape and a rub up there, those deer will come through. We'll see. Well, it was fun getting out, shooting the crossbow. I need to get out and practice a little anyhow. I'll probably do a little more practicing and uh, get ready for the season. Thanks for coming along. We'll see you next time. Peace.